gonna work on the user menu, which is this one. It's the same one the Facebook uses. As I said before, I'm trying to perfect things right here. So as you see, it's pretty cool. You can use that in any of your websites and play with it, okay? So that's the menu trying to create. So um, it's a bit tricky, but I always try and make it easy for you, okay? Don't worry about this. This is just for the responsive if we didn't work on it yet. So let's start with the menu, okay? So we're gonna go right here to the components of the header. I'm gonna add another one, which is gonna be the user menu.js rfc as you as also as i said if you're not here for the css and this kind of stuff you can just take the components ready for you okay but i advise you if you don't know you learn about this okay so we're gonna import it from here and now we add this in, uh, uh, next to the arrow down which is this one okay so we're gonna be next to each other okay so let's go back to the user menu and they start working right here okay so it's gonna have a class name which is gonna be a menu okay like this and inside this we can have a link which is gonna menu header and also it's gonna have a hover 3 which is gonna add later and we're gonna import the link from react start to dom like this and two it's gonna go to the profile and inside this we're gonna have an image the same way we add the image right here we get it from the react store so we can just simply go back to the index index as we have the user right here which we got from the react store as i said so this has all the information can go down to the elements itself and we can pass the user like this and then we're gonna go to the element and get the user from it okay like that and you can just go to the source right here and now it's gonna be user optional chaining so if it doesn't exist it doesn't stop the code and then it's gonna be picture okay I've explained this all before and now we have the picture right here still needs silent but we're gonna do it later let's go back after this so it's gonna be menu, menu column and after this which is gonna have a span which is gonna have a span and inside this span we're gonna have the user dot first name first name like this okay that's the first name also we're gonna have another span we'll least add also the last name here so we can have both of them so user dot last name like this and they're gonna get together and after this span we have another span and already says see your profile okay and now finish with this link we can go after this we can have a menu splitter splitter so on this place is simply this line right here that you have between the components okay so after that so we're gonna leave it like this and then we're gonna have menu main which is gonna be for the main one okay and then we're gonna have a hover three for it and inside this we can have a small circle circle okay we're gonna work on that also and inside this we're gonna have an icon which is gonna be report filled icon okay like this and then after this we're gonna go and have a menu column and after and inside this we can have menu span one okay and also let me add the, the dots here call it and also gonna have span two and in the span one is gonna be give feedback and inside this is gonna be let me see help us improve facebook okay and uh, after this we can go after this and after this so this is for the let me see what is this so we can go after closing this we're gonna go after the main menu so right here and then we can have a menu splitter also and don't worry it's gonna get easier and after that we're just gonna have a menu item and also it's gonna have the hover three like this and inside this we're just gonna have the list which is gonna be easy so the small circle inside this we can have the icons the settings uh filled icon like that okay this is settings field icon i know this is getting uh, already shown because in the index i've defined all of them so the small circle i've defined it which is going to create a circle with this color you know and uh, center everything inside it it's nothing uh, much and also the hover 3 i've added it right here which is going to make the div has a hover as you see with this color okay so there's not much added there okay so this is the icon and after the icon we're going to simply let me see so after this div the icon is just gonna be an eye after so we can know there's an icon so and after this div we simply can have the name which is gonna be a span and let me see so it's gonna be settings 
the first one settings and privacy like this okay and all we're gonna do right now we're just gonna have a right arrow which is a div so right arrow like this which is gonna be the arrow and after this or inside this we're gonna have the arrow icon which is gonna be i dot let me see right icon like this okay so simply like this so now if we went to the size so we can see this you know in a bare way we can go to the size and this is gonna be this is gonna be written first so let's call this the user the user menu and get it like this and we start so the menu is gonna have a padding of zero and 0 0.3 ram right here and then it's gonna have a position to be absolute because when absolute position it and then the top 100 percent so it gets after the element itself and then from the right is gonna be zero and the width is gonna be 360 pixels okay and the border radius is gonna be 10 pixels and uh, so we're gonna have the background to be var so it's gonna be pg primary which is gonna be white let me add another dash right here okay and remove this and now you see the background is gonna be white don't worry when we add the box shadow it's gonna show more so the box shadow and is gonna be two pixels two pixels and also two pixels and it's gonna be variable to be shadow one and now we're gonna have the shadow so you see it's now there and the user selects is none so the user can select it or copy anything from here he can do this you can do that also the padding is going to be 10 pixels okay like that and now we're going to simply go to the menu header and this is going to be display flex line item center and then we're going to have the padding to be 5 pixels also border radius is 10 pixels you can copy them and just and i'm just decided to write them cap 10 pixels and then we're going to go to the menu header itself and then select the image that we have and this is going to be with 60 pixels at the height is 60 pixels and the border radius to be rounded so 50 percent to make to make it round okay i know why this is in, this should be changed okay and also we're gonna have the objects fit to be cover let me refresh this because this is should be now smaller so let me go and see the menu so this is the menu okay i've had a problem right so this is menu head okay and now it changed so and after this we're gonna select the menu call and this is gonna be simply to make this column so display flex and flex direction to be column so make it in a form of column as you see right there and then justify content is gonna be center so we make it in the center okay and now we're gonna go to the span to the first one so this menu column span first of type so we select the first span which is gonna be the name and we're simply gonna have a color to be variable and it's gonna be color primary okay and the primary okay and the font which is gonna be 600 and the font size is gonna be 15 and the later spacing is gonna be one pixel now we're gonna go to the same one menu column then go to the span and then the last of type Okay, I like to use this when we have just two elements and select the one with the first of type and the second with the last of type, okay? And this is going to be font size 14 pixels, okay? And then we're going to go to the menu main and then we're going to simply have a padding of 10 pixels, margin top of 5 pixels and then it's going to be display flex as usual, align item center, okay? And the gap is going to be 5 pixels. And as you see it's moving and it's changing accordingly now we're gonna have the splitter so menu splitter and this is all gonna be with with 100 percent and then the height to be one pixels okay because one is a last and the background is going to be variable to be bg third and the margin top is going to be five margin top five pixel like this and let me just gear it like this okay and remove this and remove this like this okay let's go after that and then we're going to select the menu span one and then we're going to simply have a font size to be 14 pixels and this is going to be important so it applies okay and then go to the menu span two and then right here just going to have a font size to be 12 pixels and this is going to be important and then we have the color 
to be variable and it's going to be color secondary secondary like this so and then we're going to have the menu item i think this menu spans on my chain i so the menu span one okay so this is going to be double m and this is going to be double m and now it changes okay so that's fine i know this is getting boring but <laughs> We just gotta deal with this type of thing okay so the position is gonna be a relative display flex online item center and then the margin top is gonna be five pixels uh, heading seven pixels font weight 600 and the font size 14 okay and the border radius to be 10 pixels okay like this and now we're gonna work on the, uh, the arrow right here so i'm gonna go to the right here our arrow all right here so the position is going to be absolute so we can put it in the right so we're going to be right 10 pixels and from top is going to be 50 percent and to make it actually 50 percent to transform and then translate from the y minus 50 percent so it translate from the y minus 50 percent so it's in the middle exactly so the right the not the top the right here is going to be five or 10 pixels let me see 10 pixels okay like this so and now i think this is finished so now we can work on the rest of these so we just can copy them and see so we can go back to the user menu so this is the split term so let's go back right here so this is the menu item you can take all of that and just paste it again okay like that and let's see if we have a splitter between them we don't so this is exactly what we're gonna have okay so the second thing is gonna be have to settings and privacy help and support help and support like this okay and now it's fine copy that again let's see what i have else we're gonna have display and accessibility so display and access accessibility if i have any typos you can fix them for yourself okay and the last one is going to be i see logout okay and let's copy this this is going to be logout and we're not going to have the right icon so we can remove that like this and also we're going to have change the icons so the icons for this is going to be for the logout is going to be i didn't uh, this is fine but for the others let me see so this is I don't know which icons but let me change the others and then see what's the other one okay so this one is going to be let me just see for the display and activity so it's going to dark filled icon okay and then we're going to go to the other one this is going to be let me see it's going to be help filled icon okay and this is fine so the logout i don't know actually what it is so let me just logout filled icon and i think this is us okay so now we have the main menu which is the first one and now we need to go and work on the elements inside this okay it's not hard it's quite easy okay so let's do it so i feel like i've been slow in the last few episodes just i'm really sick so sorry i'm trying to finish this uh, quicker now and i'm going to explain everything to you so now we are in the user menu so as you see we finished this but we're going to work on the inside the the others one the inner menus and we're going to work on the on state so we're going to have a state right here and this is a beautiful we also using the state so visible set to visible but this time it's not going to be true or false let me just fix this so visible set visible okay so now we're going to equal the use state but this time it's going to be from numbers so zero so zero is the initial state when we're only going to show this and not the inner menus okay so i'm going to take everything inside this this is the main menu i'm going to go right here i'm going to see it's visible equal equals zero then we're going to have a div right here i'm going to put everything inside it and now this is when it's zero is going to be shown but if we change this to one this is not going to be shown and instead we're going to show the inner menu for the setting and privacy and for example two is going to be for help and support and you know the day okay so this is what i'm trying to do okay so now let's structure this better so we're going to go to the user menu i'm going to cut this from here we're going to go to the header inside this and i'm going to create a new folder let's call it user menu okay inside this paste this which is the user menu click here so, uh, to change the import and right here this is going to be indexed right now and you can simply import it from the user menu exactly this is not going to create any problems you can go back to the header save it and it's going to be the same way because now we get it from the folder but the index is the one that we call it from okay so this is not a problem okay 
so that's the first thing the second thing that we need to do this is going to be uppercase okay it's uppercase so we're going to go inside this and we're going to create uh, a component which is going to be for this part which is the inner you know uh, component or the inner menu okay so simply right here we're just going to create a new uh, new file let's call it for example settings privacy dot js and rfc and you have your components right here and simply now you can go back to the user menu and after this so the first inner menu for this is going to be shown when visible when visible is equal equal to one okay for this time you're going to show the component which is going to be settings and privacy like this okay so it's not going to be shown now because the sit vis visible is zero so we change it to one it's hide this and shows this so we can go back to the settings and privacy and now we're going to have the inner menu okay so the class name is going to be absolute wrap and inside this we're going to have absolute wrap header okay an absolute wrap header then inside this we can have a circle and inside the circle we're going to have an icon which is going to be let me have it inside an eye so it's going to be arrow back icon okay and it's going to be added right here i've added all the styles for them which is if you went to the styles i've added it for the absolute wrap and the rest so you can just pause the screen and copy them only these or you can just get them from the attachments i don't want to waste your time writing these in five minutes okay so let's go back to the settings and privacy settings and privacy as we have the icon we're gonna go outside of the div and we're gonna have settings and let's see privacy like this and it's gonna be added the same way of the header for these okay and then after that we just simply gonna go and have menu item and also it's gonna have the hover three okay like this and then we're gonna have the small circle which is the same with the same one as we had before so now we have the icon so settings filled icon okay like this okay and after the element so we're gonna have a span so this is, should be an eye so we can recognize it's an icon and then we're gonna have a span right here and this is gonna be settings like this let me go back right here and as you see it's the same right here you can you know hover on it and all 